What is up guys, it is Henry. Today I want to show you how to change your application icons in Ubuntu 14.04 and Ubuntu 14.10. I'm using 14.10 and as you can see I've already changed a good majority of my icons. So the only thing you need is a text editor and pretty much everyone has G-Edit already by default. If you have a more preferred text editor you want to use, that's fine. But the commands I'm going to be using are used with G-Edit so use gedit if you don't know how to use the other ones so the first step to create an icon is getting an icon now you can make your own you can get one from the internet i already got one and in this video i'm going to be changing my settings icon here's the default settings icon i want to make it this icon so First, you need to get the icon and put it in a place where you're not going to need to move it in the future. If you move it in the future, you're going to have to, re you're going to, have to change the directory of where you put it, otherwise the computer won't know where to locate the file. So keep it in the place where you're not, you know you're not going to move it. Now go to Computer, so you see the file system. Go to User, Share, Applications. And here you're going to find all your applications and all of your different icons. Now something you'll notice is some of these icons have multiple, or some of these applications have multiple icons here, such as Bluetooth, you'll find four of them. A better example is files. Yeah, I would recommend changing all of them relating to that. So Google Drive, if you were going to change Google Drive, you should change both of these, not just one. So what you're going to do is you're going to find the application you want to change. So in my case, it's going to be Settings, which is right here. And as you can see, there's three of them, and there's a fourth one, all with the same icons. But I'm just going to show you how to do one of them. You're going to right-click on the one you want to change, Copy. Then you're going to open up Terminal. You can do control alt t or just type terminal. You're going to type sudo g edit and then you're going to paste this. Enter. You're going to type in your password for access. Press enter. And now you're going to get this. It's going to open up this code. You may or may not know what it means, but all you need to look for is icon. If there are a ton of lines of code and you just can't find it, just press search, icon, and this is what you're looking for. <coughs> you're looking for icon equals this. So move this to the right. Open a new finder window. And I'll look for the picture that you want to use. So I want to use this as my icon. You're going to do the same thing, right click, copy, and now you're going to paste it here as the icon. It's going to be the directory. So as you can see, if you change this picture's directory, this isn't going to know where to find the picture, so it won't work. So you must always keep the picture in this directory. Save, exit, and as you can see that changed. You just repeat this process now for the other ones. And then, as you can see it changed here, but it doesn't change here. All you have to do is reboot your computer and it will change. So I'll show you guys, I'm going to reboot my computer and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, I just rebooted my computer and as you can see the icon has changed. That is our settings, and all you have to do is change the icon. Now all you have to do is go back and change all the other settings icons. Something else I want to show you guys is that, um, you can actually edit these icons to your liking. So here's the icon. You can just right click and open with your image editor, whichever one you use. And you can do whatever you want. You can shrink it, you can do whatever you want with it. I'm just going to make it slightly, I'm just going to make it 513 by 513. 
So I did change it. And then when you save it, you just keep the same directory and the same file name, replace it, and it'll still work. So this will still be the same icon. Uh, that's just a good tip I wanted to show you guys because many icons require, you want to make them bigger, smaller, or you just need to move them around. So that's it. That's all there is to it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions or any video ideas, just let me know. Thanks for watching.